starting to get a lot of like inboxes and like just crazy random texts and people like you know call me i don't want to ask you this and some of the questions these parents ask and, and, and the first thing i always say is who recruited you what what letters have you received somebody be like you know i had a lady i talked to today and she was like well no we're not getting anything from anybody right now sons getting ready to be a senior mm -hmm. so i'm like how active have you been in his recruitment what what have you guys been doing but we hadn't really been doing it. Listen, y'all so far behind the eight ball. Right. What y'all need to do is get y'all some film together. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to go get with your, your high school coach. And like, okay, listen, what do we need to work on? And then, like I say, y'all just need to put some fillers out there. Just yeah. put some fillers out there. Just put some fillers out there. Just throw them out there, man. That's all you got to do. Because, I mean, <laughs> it's an avalanche effect. But once you start rolling it out there, people are going to start learning about it. Because if you ain't did nothing, how am I going to know about you? Right. And if you ain't a standout student, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the other thing I did ask her today, and uh, I was like, you know, uh, what kind of seasons have y'all been having since he's been? Because he said he's been playing varsity two years. They were three and seven one year. Last year they were like five and five. So I'm like, yeah. is anybody being recruited? Say, like, yeah, we got a couple of players. Well, again, you got to jump on this, parent. Right. I want you to do me something real quick. Because you do have rights to do this. I want you to copy everything you just put today. Hit copy. You know, highlight it. Then hit copy. Okay. And then post it on the web, on the Facebook page. Can we do that? All right. Wendy's okay. Wisdoms for two, for three, one, seventeen. That's because that's big. Because that's the stuff you. people need to know that. The, the, they the, need to know it every week, but that right there is the, something the, that's the need to The realistic know. part, like. So many kids, I, I can think about the conversations that I had with a few parents before signing day. And, I mean, it really hit them. Oh, yeah. Because it was like. Because the day was on them. Oh, what? It, same thing happened at, I think, same thing happened at my school. It happens everywhere. You and that's all, what's so crazy. And I'm sure y'all, you know, when you have these conversations and, you, you know, you want to hear certain things from parents. Like. We just want our kid to go to school, and right? Play, right? But when they start talking about he did this, and that, then you know his mind ain't right. Yeah, and he ain't realistic about yeah. his opportunity. Right. Yeah. If he come to you and say, "I just want to go where well, I ain't got to play. I can still play this game. I want the free money." But I, that's realistic because he can probably do that's it. it. You know, we we <laughs> we posted a, a a video on the page today. Ohio State. Uh, finished mat drills today. Mm -hmm. I saw it. So they finished mat drills. So you know they they all go because they completed mat drill. They all go get a free pair of LeBrons, mm. and they all go into the gym and they play basketball. This is the point a lot of people missed about like that video. Look at the size of some of those guys, you know, and what they were doing. Now these are football players dunking like Division One basketball players. <laughs> The freaky athleticism and they that dunk, these guys have. But they were Duncan Macy's you know, with no necks. Right. So these were like, <laughs> this, this is what I'm telling I mean, you. Right. They was, basketball Cole. players are slim. Right. Duncan, Duncan. These guys had no neck muscles on no, top of muscles. It was a 6'4 linebacker <laughs> who rocked the cradle yeah. like Jordan. But you see how big he was, man? Right. This is what I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to tell you. And, and what I'm trying to get a couple of parents to understand today, I'm like, listen. If your son was that guy, <laughs> they'll be knocking down your door. Yeah. If they're not knocking down your door, y'all got work to do. Right. Yeah. And you can see, like, the tight end, <laughs> the white tight end, they had 6'6". Six, six. But he's 270. Oh, he, and he reversed Duncan. Duncan. Those are athletes that get recruited like that. Right. <laughs> I, I call them the bless. Yeah. Right. The bless, the 1%. If college coach is not blowing up your phone, if they're not knocking on your door, they're not landing helicopters at school. Yeah. That's not your child. Right. But it's still somewhere for your child to go to school. It's somewhere. Yeah. And it's somewhere for If you're everybody. persistent. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be persistent. If you're persistent. Yeah. And it's funny, man, I'm thinking about uh old uh Julius Peppers. When he used to go out there and play for North Carolina. He was the biggest thing out there. He's six six, but he wasn't the tallest. He was two seventy five playing basketball. Playing division one basketball <laughs> in the ACC. And was playing, not on the bench. Yeah. Getting times. And was a first round draft pick yeah. in the NFL. That's one of them guys you like, oh, you know he going to that next level. I mean, come on. He playing basketball Just with the big fellas. 
He playing in he playing in Duke right now, getting that work by them Cameron Listen, Indoor Stadium. <laughs> that's the blessed one percent. And again, I'm gonna continue to say this over and over again. Love who love you, man. Stop, man. Stop chasing them people. I want everybody to do. That's another film out there that kind of. I've seen Jamias play. Yeah. And I've seen him on the field in the state championship game. Yeah. But he just posted a video of him just running some drill. Ain't everybody like that. That's, no. That's a different dude, right? No. <laughs> I mean, the, the footwork, the hip movement, everything is different about that But kid. But it transferred from that film. To, to the field. To the field. It's a different thing, man. He he not a he not a rope all American. Like John Lewis say all the time. This guy they do some drills on them ropes. You like, woo. He quick now. Then he get out down the field, can't do it. Man, he can't he can't get out the uh, the the water by the way. Gotta translate. Yeah. Gotta translate. Hey man, great show today, people. I always show thirty in the books. Show thirty. Recruiting one on one. I'm gonna have to talk to our producer why I can't get the H D camera. Um, we had to, we had to, hey man, baby, baby steps. Yeah, baby right, steps. Yeah. She need to be demanding now. She thirty shows in, though. Make sure <laughs> <laughs> we should be demanding now. Hey, I, ain't, I ain't in it. Yeah. I ain't in it. Thank you, Wendy. So we're gonna do uh, what now? I'm gonna copy the paper. <laughs> Guess what we're going to do with that? Your stuff is already <laughs> typed and ready to go. Of it's, it's, be, it's pretty. It's, it's so already pretty. pretty to go. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Us, we got to work for our <laughs> book of rhymes, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Mace. Yes, sir. Thank you, Wendy. 31 next week. We'll see y'all. Have a great weekend, people. Peace. Hey, this is John Legend. Hey, what's happening, man? It's the King speaking. Oh, this is